was developed for generating body heat in the icy caves of Tibet. Yogis who have mastered Tumo are capable of immersing themselves in icy lakes and, 15 minutes later, producing visible steam rising from their robes. Tomo is a teaching that is strict and not one that is freely dispensed to whoever wishes to receive it. However, our environment and the time are very different now. So, backed by loving kindness and compassion, I am now showing it. And to me, it's not a violation of our yogic vows. Tomo is a practice that will bring about bliss and happiness, psychological as well as physical. The visualization is a lot simpler when you visualize yourself as a fully blown up balloon that is hollow, then you visualize a little object inside you glowing and generating heat. It is a very useful tool to help oneself and heal oneself. Other yogas were designed to benefit bodily health and to improve the length and quality of one's precious lifetime. While many basic yogas have been taught in the West for years, many of the more difficult and exotic yogas have been kept secret to preserve their purity. One such practice, Trul Core, was developed for opening the wind channels of the body, the pathways of energy associated with breathing. Through the practice of Trul Core, the yogi is able to improve breathing functions, help the body release toxins, and clear the mind. The filming of this demanding practice was permitted with great reluctance. In order to learn this thoroughly, it takes at least two years. But then you cannot leave it at that. You must do the practice all the time. Unless I'm traveling, I do the exercise two hours every day. And now I have one request. This is a very secret practice, so I must ask you to advise the viewer to not try to imitate me. If they do, there is a danger for their health and well-being. Because this is so secret, we must learn it from a particular teacher who can give the teaching from the beginning to the end thoroughly.
The yogi who has spent years practicing and has gained a high degree of mastery over both mind and body is said to have achieved a high level of attainment to have become a highly realized being. Their powers are sometimes said to extend into the realm of the paranormal. Such supernatural stories have swirled around the Tibetan yogis throughout their history, thickening the cloud of mystery surrounding them. Tales of telepathic communication and mind-controlling matter are reported among advanced practitioners to this day. <laughs> The highly realized yogis can, of course, alter situations. There are many instances where the highly realized beings altered natural disasters. One example is where Chinese soldiers came to cause harm to a monastery or its inhabitants. All of a sudden, the change of weather, extreme poor visibility, the falling of hail, making it absolutely impossible for these people to come to their destination. There are so many different instances, far too many to narrate. There is a most wonderful and sacred meditation cave where it is said Guru Padma Sambhava meditated. I went there when I was only a boy, but I had a tremendous amount of devotion. When looking across the cave, I really felt like saying some prayers. I offered three prostrations and said, please show me some sign so that my devotions will further become stronger. And instantly, there appeared a rainbow at the mouth of the meditation cave. And there I saw Guru Pema Sambhava. So I was just overwhelmed and really so very happy and all my focus was on the mouth of the cave and Guru Pama Sambhava. There were a lot of nuns with me, and one of them said to me, Rinpoche, Rinpoche, watch your foot. It is sinking in the stone. And I had to look 